I believe ours is a straightforward amendment uh, relating to the paper that we are discussing. Um, we're asked to note that the outturn for 2013-14 was a net surplus of £1.82 million, pounds, not an insignificant sum. Um, and I hope this amendment will get the support of all parties considering the issues we've debated in this chamber, but we will see. The question we need to ask ourselves, I believe, is why we, would not, why we choose not to try and support vulnerable groups and local residents who have been and will be affected by the cuts in supporting people funding and the impact of flooding. To make it clear, this is not a commitment to spend this money immediately, but it would be available to Cabinet as and when required to address the concerns and issues we and others have highlighted. We would expect to see Cabinet decisions as per the normal process to spend this money on those priorities. In connection with supporting people, let me just highlight a few things if I may. There are housing projects that are closing and others that may well have to close. The funding for the pull cord emergency system, for example, is being stopped. The refuse for victims of domestic violence is likely to lose bed spaces. The handy person service for the elderly will now only be available to those who can pay. That is, of course, if any organisation tenders for this service. We are told by officers that we are going to see an increase in homelessness, whilst at the same time we are losing significant numbers of bed spaces for vulnerable people. It must be right for this council, because it can afford to do so, to put aside money to support its vulnerable residents in the way that we are proposing. We are looking for a defined, a defined reserve to be set aside for this purpose, to be offered where necessary, to mitigate the worst impact of the cuts on our residents. Turning to the problems of flooding in Buckskin, have councillors in this chamber walked around the area recently? I suggest those of you who have not done so should do so. The devastation experienced by residents was enormous, and there are many properties still unoccupied, stood waiting to be put right. The environment in the area of the flooding which residents are living in now needs care and support and we want to see money available allocated from a reserve, matched by Sovereign and the County Council, in order that we can make improvements to the area, alongside the larger investment we expect County, the Environment Agency and water companies to make in actually offering a long-term engineering solution to the future of flooding. If we were to agree to support our Buckskin residents, this would be a particularly good time to let them know that we care. The residents are meeting this weekend to discuss their current situation and their hopes for the future. The recent independent report concludes, amongst other things, that there appears to be a problem with the surface water drainage system. I bet that took them some time and effort to work out. Incidentally, the reason the good people of Basing never experienced flooding is because of the situation in Buckskin. One minute. That apart, we can help and support our residents in Buckskin if we choose to do so and the Labour group says that we should. I say again, Mr Mayor, why would anyone reject the creation of these specific reserves to support people who need our help at this time? Here is the opportunity to prove we are a caring, supportive local authority. I move, Mr Mayor. Thank you. Right. The important thing here is that you're creating a fund for two really crucial priorities. And what are reserves there for? Reserves are there for the rainy day. They're there to establish a fallback position that we can call on to support residents. Your words, not mine. I think in terms of the underspends, and this council regularly now falls short of spending all its budget, there is nothing wrong with taking that resource and for one-off funding, applying it to areas of spend that would genuinely benefit residents and their priorities. And our amendment does just that, creating these two reserves so that we can draw on them, particularly in regard to supporting people, when we see some of the major issues. That presentation was given and other members uh, spoke about the, the real concern and stress, really, the, the kind of issues we're going to be facing that we heard in that workshop a few weeks ago. Uh, I was able to attend, but other members told me about just the concern that was raised, let alone by the agencies, let alone councillors in this chamber. Now, it seems absolutely right, doesn't it, that we would put aside a pot of money that we can draw on if required 
to mitigate the impact of those pretty devastating cuts on those individuals who are most vulnerable in our community. That makes perfect logical sense. It isn't profligate, it isn't wasting money, it's providing a resource that the Cabinet can draw on in the support of all this chamber, I would hope, to mitigate the impact on those people and their lives, particularly when you think about things like the Joshua Tree and Sandringham Court and so on. I mean, they're going to have people's lives that are going to be really heavily impacted by the cuts the county are intending to make. And we have got a responsibility to do something about it. We are one of the richest boroughs in the country. We have got resource to be able to allocate. So why wouldn't you? It's perfectly logical. Create the fund and bring the cabinet decisions forward that we can then do something as and when required. Let's talk about the flooding for a second. Go out and look at the bungalows. Go and look at the environment in which some of the people are now living. It has been left and it needs to be addressed and it needs to be dealt with. Go look at the homes that are standing empty. We're not talking about spending on individuals. You're not talking about spending in terms of the way they're described. This is about the environment. It's about the generality of our responsibilities. And I would love to see Sovereign match the funding. And I would love to see the county step up as well. And we do need a longer-term solution. Of course we do. This ain't going to get solved with a click of the fingers. This is going to take some serious work to find a solution that will make sure that Buckskin doesn't flood again next year. Now, let's just think this through. What would be